Welcome to Minecraft with the Nuts and Bolts Torqued Mod Pack. Minecraft is not something that I thought I would ever like. I played it a long time ago, mostly vanilla with just a couple of minor mods added. And I really didn't like it very much, I basically just wrote it off as something that I would never enjoy. But a little while ago I discovered the concept of mod packs. They are very much a thing in Minecraft. There are many of them, and they are often massive. Such as this one. This one has roughly 200 modifications, making it really just a completely different game from vanilla. It's, it's so dramatically different. I can't state that enough. And turns out I actually enjoy them. I haven't played an expert mod pack yet, though. The ones I've played are non-expert. And basically the difference is a normal mod, mod pack is... Um, it's generally easier to survive, and usually each individual mod has its own progression system that isn't reliant on other mods. But in an expert mod pack, it's usually harder to survive, and mods are typically... Uh, progression in individual mods is usually gated by doing something else in another mod. So you tend to have to do things in not necessarily a super strict order, but there's definitely a bit of an order to how you do the mods. And so it makes it so you pretty much have to dabble in just about every mod to really progress. You can't just do a couple things that you want to do and then leave everything else out. You pretty much have to do everything. It's uh, it makes for a very different experience. It's much more it's much more of like a, a thorough exploration of each mod compared to a normal mod pack. So it should be interesting. I also want to say that if you've never played Minecraft before or just never played Minecraft mod packs before, I'm going to assume that you as the viewer probably don't know anything about Minecraft, because I figure my viewer base probably doesn't really play Minecraft very much. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume you don't know much about Minecraft, so hopefully I can explain and make it all make sense to you, because if you just dive into watching a Let's Play on someone who does Minecraft all the time and, you know, they're playing the, the 10th or 20th mod pack they've ever played, they're going to... I've noticed it myself when I was first watching Minecraft Let's Plays, they just... Oh, I'm getting attacked. Uh, they just take a lot of things for granted. Because they assume you're a Minecrafter and you know what the hell's going on, but if you're not, it's really confusing. So I'm not going to make that assumption. And hopefully I can uh, help you along through learning what the heck modded Minecraft is all about. Anyway, I'm just running randomly. I should mention, I guess I'll pause right here so I don't get attacked. Um, I should mention that you start every game with a randomly generated map. So I just generated this map just before starting it, and back here in that beautiful flower field was the spawn point. So I've never explored this map. Don't know what's in it. Owl, please leave me alone. The mobs also spawn at night, not during the day, or well, I, more technically, they spawn in dark areas. So in the overworld, normally they only spawn during the day, but if you're underground, where it's often dark all the time, of course, unless there's some sort of light source, then uh, they can spawn there even during the day. Ooh. Tiny little snail. So yeah, I should probably survive, huh? I have... well, let's see, you start with a journal. That's from the Astral Sorcery mod. We're not going to need that for a while, I think. And then... Oh, okay! Nice. That was a variant of the creeper. Normal creepers... okay, there's a lot of them. Normal creepers explode and hurt you. That one exploded and just gave me a weird effect. So you can see my food meter down below is almost empty, which means now that it's so low... Oh, a bean. Now that it's so low, I can't sprint, so I'm almost starving. If it goes down all the way, I'll start to lose health and die. And it's nighttime and there's enemies around and I don't have a sword or anything like that, so I probably should have been actually surviving instead of just talking and doing nothing. But it's alright. Um, we start with this quest book. Which, well, has a bunch of quests you can do. This is added by the mod pack. And it kind of roughly guides you through the mod. Or through the mod pack, rather. The first, the first one is to make the grindstone from Applied Energistics 2. However, we are not going to be able to do that for a while, so just forget that. Early game is not going to be focusing on quests. It's going to be just trying to survive. Um, I'm inclined to just dig a hole and wait out the night time until it's daytime again so it's safe, but the thing is, I'd probably starve to death if I did that, so I need food. Coffee beans aren't going to help. I need to find, like, uh... 
I don't know, a, a cow or something that I can kill? Well, until we get anything better, I'm going to make a basic set of tools using this acacia wood. Very, very basic. Wood tools are absolutely terrible. So let's turn all of that raw wood into, into planks. Let's make a crafting table. And then I uh, need some sticks. Let's make some sticks. So let's make wooden pickaxe. Wooden axe. Let's make a wooden sword. I guess a wooden... yeah, let's make a wooden shovel too. Should be all the basic tools I need. Take this with me. Oh, that's right! First position set, that's right. There's a... like a, a bug with this mod pack where you need to turn off a certain thing. Somehow the wooden axe is set to like some sort of dev tool or something. There we go, now it's fixed. Ooh, looks like it's uh, almost daytime too. Cool. Oh yeah, you can see on the mini map, by the way, if you look at it, there's um, zombie heads like right about here. The reason they look like they're on the mini map, but they're not actually here in the world, is because they're actually below me. That means there's some sort of a cave just a little bit below me. I'm really close to starving. Uh, I did find this rice. That will give me <laughs> almost nothing. <laughs> Okay, this like temple thing that I just found here in this desert, I think there's stuff inside. Uh oh. Holy crap, that is way too dark. Okay, not gonna happen. This mod pack also has a mod in it called um, Hardcore Darkness, I think, that makes it so that when um, when you get into a situation where there's no light, normally in Minecraft, something that has no light actually does kind of have light. But with Hardcore Darkness, something that has no light is literally pitch black. Such as this tree for some reason? That looks, that just looks all sorts of wrong. Hello there. Zombies burn in the sunlight. Hey, just got some XP. Yeah, so I super need to find food, right? Chicken! Yes! Chicken, chicken, chicken! And berry bush. You can also pick the berries. Oh. You can pick the berries. There's a lot of berries. Uh-oh. You know what? Blow me up, concussion creeper. I don't mind. I feel bad about this, but I really need food. I'm sorry, chickens. Ideally, I would cook that. I really should cook it. I'm actually going to hold on to it until I can cook it. So for that, I need a furnace, and I need some coal or some other, or, or just wood as a fuel source. Now let's see if they've changed the recipe for the furnace in this mod pack. Mod packs can change the recipes to whatever they want. Um, oh, this, by the way, right here is actually a mod itself. This basically gives you a huge directory of everything that you can possibly craft in the game. So we can just look up furnace. What does that take? Yeah, that is not vanilla recipe. It takes compressed cobblestone. So nine blocks of cobblestone makes one compressed cobblestone. And some sand and some clay, so that's a little bit difficult to make. I don't know what the heck that is. F furnace slab? Does it work? As an actual furnace? I don't think so. So we need a lot of stone and some sand and some clay. I think I can do that. Just got some sand from all around here. Clay can be found in water. So there's a block of clay right there. Block of clay right there. Can't reach it. This should be plenty. Yeah, that little thing at the top of the screen is just sort of a information um, probe or whatever you want to call it. It just displays information on whatever block or item. No, it doesn't display item information. But um, yeah, if you have a block highlighted, 
then it tells you what it is, what mod or no mod it came from, and what you need to harvest it and stuff like that. So, very helpful. Now I just need a bunch of stone, so if I dig deep enough, I should find some stone. Shouldn't have to go too deep. Oh, some coal ore. I'll take that. Just had to dig down a little bit and found stone. And now that I've got stone, I can upgrade from wooden tools to stone, which is also terrible, but a little bit better than wood. All right, I think I've gotten enough stone that I should be able to craft the furnace and make this food and finally actually get fully fed. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, to make it, I need three, four, five, five things of compressed cobblestone, which is five of these. This makes compressed cobble cobblestone, let's get five. It's like that. And then what was it? Oh, let's just do that. Yeah, you can auto-complete on a recipe by clicking this, and it just automatically fills it in for you. And we have a furnace. Let's give it some... You know what? I can actually use my old crappy wood tools as a fuel source. Let's do that. It's not going to last very long, though. But long enough by the looks of it. Oh yeah, and that lights up the place too, when the furnace is going. I'd like to light this place up with an actual torch. What can I use? How do I... Well, I can make charcoal. I can make charcoal by actually burning wood in a wood-fired uh, furnace. Because I found that, like, wasn't it like coal ore or something? But the coal ore, I think, turned into this moist peat chunk, which is definitely not a fuel source. Alright. Let's get full. Ah, beautiful. Now I'm maxed out. Yeah, when you cook that chicken, it gives you way more nutrition. Now I can sprint freely. Well, I'm stuck in a dark hole, aren't I? The sun's going down, and I just kind of need resources in general. I've got enough food, but now I need um, ores and things like that. And just a bunch more stone as well. So I'm going to actually want to light up my place down there. So let's get some wood. Um, you can't use planks to turn into charcoal. You have to use actual full wood. God, it's so dark down here. But yeah, if you burn full wood using anything... You get charcoal, and charcoal can be used to make torches. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Like, default Minecraft only has a redstone torch and a normal torch. Just look at all these torches added by mods. That's an ugly looking lump. Okay, let's make some torches. I want to be able to see you down here. And boop. Now we've got light. Right, so our main goal at the moment is to make the quartz grindstone because that will be the start of our ability to use metal. This will allow us to grind up ores and get dust out of that, and then we can smelt that dust and turn it into ingots. And then we can make metal tools, I think, and some other stuff. That's basically the start of moving into the metal age. So we need this. And we can make the wooden gear, that's just a bunch of sticks. We can make these stones. That's just cooked cobblestone, which I'm actually cooking up right now. The hard thing to get is either the nether quartz, which comes from the nether. It's another dimension that's essentially a fiery hell. <laughs> or the Sirtis Quartz Crystal, of which I have one. So you can actually find the Sirtis Quartz crystal Crystals here. I found it just right there. And so we could make the grindstone just from stuff from this dimension. However, there is another place that I should make a portal to called the... Okay, I guess it's just called the Aroma uh, Mining Dimension. So to make that, we need a bunch of portal frame and a mining multi-tool. Mining multi-tool requires a bunch of stuff that we can easily do, except I don't think I have flint. First thing I'm going to make, though, is this. It's basically like a multi-tool made out of all the stone tools. So let's go ahead and make that. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty common thing in, in certain mods, in a lot of mods, where if you craft something from it, it gives you the instruction manual for it. So this was 
This is an Actually Editions mod item, and so it gave me the Actually Editions manual. My inventory is a complete mess, so before I continue, let's make a wooden chest. Uh, let's make two wooden chests, actually. So I can sort some of this stuff. Boop, boop. Okay, much better. Now let's continue. So to make this, we can make two compressed cobblestone. That is easy. One, two. Right, so now we have everything but the flint. Flint we get from destroying gravel, which I haven't found yet, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, other than that, we need, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten pieces of this portal frame. And to make that, we need the mining tool itself, which we haven't made yet, and we also need some sort of stone brick. So stone brick can be made from uh, stone, sometimes called smooth stone. Basically how the stone thing works is you find stone in the world like this, and normally if you break it, the stone turns into cobblestone, because you kind of just like roughly destroyed it. Stone into cobblestone, and then if you cook the cobblestone, it turns into back into stone, also called smooth stone. So uh, if you put this in a 4x4, four four, you can make stone bricks. How much did I need of that? 10 pieces? Yeah. Okay, so now we have everything to make the dimension, except for the flint. Actually, while I was looking for flint down there, I found some more Surtis Quartz Crystals, and I think it's actually enough to make the grindstone. I'm still going to make the portal, but um, we could maybe crank this out real fast. So I've got those. Check. That's any sort of stone. Already got that. Cobblestone. Got that. Just need to make the wooden gear, which is just four sticks. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now that's a good start, but I am missing a couple things. For one, you're supposed to put some sort of a handle in it to crank it. It's hand-powered. And I don't know what the heck that thing's called, that handle. Also, I don't think I actually have anything to put inside of this grindstone. I think at the moment it's useless, and this is where the aroma mining dimension is going to come into, into play. You can only grind up certain things inside of this. And what this mod pack has done is um, it's changed the ore gen a lot. So that's another thing that mod packs can totally customize is how ore is generated in the world, where it shows up, and in what form it shows up. And they've done something very different from vanilla with the ore gen. There's basically tiers of ore, which isn't normal. Normally, if you find iron ore, it's just iron ore, but there's actually different tiers of iron ore. And if I remember right, you need a certain quality to be able to put it in the grindstone. This, yeah, this one is too low quality. It won't even go in the grindstone, so I can't grind it. It can still be used later on once we get up to the point where we can use the, um, I believe it's called the Embers mod. You can see it says it melts into 500 millibuckets of Molten Bloom. So the Embers mod allows you to melt stuff like this, but we're not there yet. So at the moment, that ore is useless. And again, the best way to get ore is to go into the mining dimension, so... That's still my goal, to make the mining dimension still need flint. Well, I dug almost all the way to the bottom of the world and didn't find any gravel to get flint with. I was really surprised. I've never had to look hard for gravel, like it always just seems like it's pretty much everywhere, but... I couldn't find it in the overworld. Because I don't think gravel really appears that much in uh, sandy biomes like this, or in swamps. So unfortunately I'm in bad biomes for finding gravel on the overworld, but I thought I could find it underneath, but perhaps, just like it doesn't show on the overworld in these biomes, maybe it doesn't show down below? Or maybe I just got unlucky, or maybe it's been changed in the origin for this mod pack, I have no idea. Either way, I'm not going to go look for it up there when it's dark. So, let's do some other stuff. I found a whole bunch of ores when I was down there. Um, found some tin, useless. Uh, I did find a bunch of iron, though. Where... Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. It's just so dark it doesn't look like iron. Yeah, so I found a bunch of magnetite, which is a better version of iron. So this, I'm thinking, maybe it could be ground up? Da! Ah, it still can't. Okay, well there's not much I can do then. But I did discover how to make the wooden crank. There we go. So now, if we had ore that we could actually crank... We could actually crank it. But there's nothing to crank. Yeah. 
I'm too impatient to just stay in a dark hole until it turns light, so I'm actually going to go the safest way I know how to, to a different biome. So obviously I could just go all the way up here to try to get to a more normal kind of biome and find gravel, but that's a long ways away, so I'm actually going to go across the ocean. Because we can do that pretty fast using that boat that I just made. And pretty safely, too. I don't think anything will be able to attack me out in the ocean. Certainly no mobs spawn on the water. And boats travel pretty fast. Man, it's so cool. Look at all the underground or uh, underwater life. This is all added by mods, by the way. There's like nothing underwater in vanilla Minecraft. Yes, yeah, so this is technically an ocean biome, and they can be quite large, so it actually could take a while to find land. Oh, thank god we found land! It's still loading in, but it is indeed land. Bonk. Yeah, look how friggin' far I had to go. That's where I came from. Okay, this is... what is this? Well, right now it's a beach biome. Roofed forest. It's really cool looking. Oh, I'm so sorry, Piggy, but I'm pretty much out of food. I'm assuming the darkness under the trees is a result of the Hardcore Darkness mod. But one thing I don't like about it, it really shouldn't be this dark. Right, so... gravel. Uh-oh. It's so dark mob spawn here. What is that? Oh, ice! I think that's an astral sorcery thing. Let's go see. Yeah, astral sorcery blocks. Oh, I think... I think these have things in them, too. Yeah. Floating crystal. Do I want to break that? I don't know, I think they have- yeah, they have chests in there. Oh, wow! Well, there's a diamond, and more importantly, I guess, iron. Which is something that we're still quite a ways off from even being able to get. I will take all- oh, wrong button. Just, <laughs> I'll just do this. <laughs> Beautiful. What should I do with the iron? I don't know if that's enough to do what I need to do for the next step, but I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I still want to do things in the correct order, even if I've managed to get a bit of iron. Um, oh, I can't even... Yeah, if you look up there at the top, it says pickaxe, and then there's a red X next to it. And it says diamond. That means I need a diamond-level pickaxe to be able to actually break this. So, that doesn't necessarily mean you can break it, but it does mean that even if you can break it, you definitely won't actually get the item. So it'll just be wasted. You'll just destroy it. Oh, get me out of here. When you're in water, it's so slow to break blocks. And yeah, if you break ice, it turns into water. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Anyway, how about some flint, huh? That looks kind of flinty over there. I see cobblestone.
Cobblestone and stone. It really shouldn't be this hard to find flint. Oh, there's another one of those astral, astral sorcery things. Need to go loot that. Banded iron formation. Hmm, that's... Because it's on the surface, it's probably very low quality. Is gravel, like, supposed to be hard to get, or am I just getting unlucky? I put down a crafting table, made a couple of pickaxes, and also put down a furnace, and I'm cooking up the pork chops, because I am gonna need food pretty soon. Alright, let's pick this up and see how good this is. Oh yeah, that's very low quality, 100 millibuckets. The other stuff I picked up was like 500 and 750, I think. So that is extremely low quality. I'm not even going to bother with that. Alright, let's go take a look at that astral sorcery thing. Also, I should probably actually take these with me. loose seeds in here. Grass seeds, barley seeds. Oh, and got more of the same thing that we got from the other one, and also constellation paper. Is there a take all button? No, restock only takes the things you already have. Merge. Eh? I don't know. You memorize a drawing of Armara. You had a tab to the journal to keep track of it. So yeah, you're supposed to explore these things for Ars, Ars Magica and get the constellation papers and stuff, and eventually you'll be able to do stuff with the constellations, but that's pretty far in the future, I think. Oh, whoa, there's two chests. Gold, more iron, another constellation. Oh, I can't fit it. Uh, what can I toss out? I don't think I need seeds or a single stick. Or bones. Well, actually, I can I can use that to grow food. You can turn that into bone meal. So I actually might want that. And bone meal can make crops instantly grow. So how about that flint, huh? Oh, thank god, I finally found gravel. So when you break gravel, it has a small chance to turn into flint. But you can also just directly craft gravel into flint. I, I don't think that's in vanilla, but I think mod packs and stuff often add that. Oh crap, it's dark. That is very bad. I think. Oh, I'm not even picking any of it up. Oh god. Okay, hold, hold on. I need to dump some of my inventory, it's so freaking dark. I don't need all this cobble. Okay, should that be enough for everything I need? Six, six flint and 33 gravel? Yeah, okay, that's plenty. Oh, I didn't pick up my boat. That's all right. Just make a new one. And we're out of here. Let's see. Oh, so it just goes south a bit. And then east. And we're back home. Okay, let's go ahead and make that mining tool. Missing a stick. I can do that. There we go. Now we need <clears throat> we need ten portal frames, which is that plus that, and it doesn't actually consume the mining tool like most crafting recipes do. 
Um, but sometimes when you use an, uh, an item, sometimes it just takes up the durability instead of actually consuming the whole thing, and that's what happens in this case. Let's set this up. Mm, I'll do it right here. Kind of recess it into the ground a little bit. One, two, three. Oh, whoops, I don't need this one. Two, three, do, do, and there we go. Yeah, you don't have to do the corners. Now we have the mining portal. Let's go. So the mining dimension, as far as I know, it's basically just, well, a dimension for mining, obviously. What the hell? Smoldering coal deposit. Yeah, I figured that would hurt. Huh. So strange looking. So yeah, it's a different dimension where you can just mine, and if you caught that message before, it basically said that it's occasionally reset, so you never, like, run out of stuff to mine. Not that you ever really would on the main world, but, eh. It doesn't hurt to do that, I guess. And also, I think it has a much higher occurrence of ore than you get on the overworld, so if you want to mine, this is definitely the place to, to go for it. And, who knows, with the mod pack, there might be stuff that only appears here and doesn't appear in the overworld, too. Like, I don't know about these, but I certainly didn't see these before. So this is where I'm going to go to get the higher quality iron ore, which will be able to be ground up into iron ingots. And then I can use that to supplement the iron ingots that I've already gotten from the Ars Magica chests. And I believe we need the iron to make ember stuff. We need to make stuff like ember emitter and... All these things and these take oh we need okay so we need quite a few things we need copper and we need iron and whatever this is this comes from clay and bone meal so we need a bunch of stuff yeah we just need ore in general so i think it's a pretty good place to end the episode so i hope you've enjoyed so far and when i return i'm gonna gather a bunch of materials from the mining dimension and then start working on some new stuff